Good morning. Today is May 26th and we're reading from the New Living Translation. And we're reading one of my favorite Psalms, Psalms 23. And I know you know this Psalm because everybody knows Psalm uh, 23. And it's the one that's the Lord is my shepherd. And so um, one of the things is, is that I know scriptures, right? I, I put scriptures on my heart. It's so, so important to do this. And um, God like gave me this scripture when I was in prison. And it was one of my very first scriptures that I actually learned. I learned it, you know, it took me, it took me a while. I wish I had my old prison Bible. Um, but it took me a long time to learn this, like three or four months just to learn this scripture. But now that I do it, I do it every day. I say it every day. I say script, certain scriptures every day because it's important, especially if you're doing spiritual warfare or where you're, you know, having some issues. You could always, or stuff just doesn't feel right. Sometimes stuff doesn't feel right, okay? And you're just like, what was that? And I just blurt it out. I blurt this out. I blurt a scripture out. And the scripture does not have to be the whole thing. You can say, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Oh, <gasps> uh, what? There's no demons anywhere, right? If, go. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Say it with authority too, okay? Uh, so Psalms 23, ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right path, bringing honor to his name. Okay, we're going to stop right there because I always break it down, right? Even though I could just say it. <laughs> I know in my heart, so I'm like, oh, I can just revel this on, right? So the Lord is our shepherd, right? He's got us. God's got us, right? You know, he... You know, and it says, he lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside still waters. Okay. When you are walking with Jesus, do you get those moments of peace and joy? And you're always happy, right? I get those a lot, you know. Even with my waiting season that I'm in, because I'm in a waiting season. We all know this. No, it's not a secret. I'm in a waiting season. And... Even with that, and yes, I'm exhausted from the waiting season, right? Because I'm like, man, something needs to change, Jesus. Something needs to change. But God's like, you need to trust me. Mm -hmm. You need to trust me because I got something greater for you. You don't even imagine what I got for you over there. But you're trying to handle stuff for yourself over here? How do you think you're going to get over there? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about because... Yeah, that's what that's what Jesus does. He's like, okay, are you gonna trust me? Are you gonna trust my whole entire being? You know, are you gonna let me lead you into green pastures and peaceful streams? Are you gonna do that? I guess I am, right? I guess I am. Is it even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. God is there, right? God is there. God is right next to us, even when we are going through trouble. So like I said before, I, I believe in spiritual warfare. I believe in deliverance. I believe in fighting demons. I believe in all that. I believe in demons manifesting in front of you. And you're like, what was that? And it was like a bad acid trip, but you know, because I used to do acid, but it's not because I'm sober, right? So what was that? And so, you know, with all that being said, like we do fight what we can't see. You know, and this is why we have to be so prayed up and, you know, so scripture oriented. So, you know, because a lot of times what the devil wants to do is he just wants to give you a thought. It can be a simple thought. It can be just like, oh, let's look at this. And it'd be like a porn site or something like that, right? And you're just scrolling. And then all of a sudden you get sucked in. You get sucked in. And now comes these demons at you, right? And then now you want to do this and you want to do that, right? It's kind of like you just... You know, it's one little thought, but that thought can turn into all these actions. And right when that thought comes, you got to rebuke it, give it to God, or just start quoting scripture. That's, it's, it's that thought, you know, because you don't want that thought to go down this hole, right, where you're going to be in trouble, like down the road. So you want to stop the thought when it first happens, okay? And then... You always got to remember to like throw scripture in there, um, you know, give it over to God and just, you know, repent, 
to God, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. Because we screw up. We do. We don't, we're not perfect. I screw up all the time, right? You know, God tells me to do this. I'm like, "Ah, I'm doing that. I'm doing the opposite of what you told me to do. Because that's my human nature. Because I want to do opposite, right? Oh, yes. It says, um, your rod and staff will protect and comfort me. Okay, number five. You prepare, this is a cool one. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You know what that means? That means all your enemies, all the people that hated you, all the people who want to like do damage to you and stuff like that, they can't touch you. No, because you're with God. You're, you're sitting, enjoying a feast with Jesus, right? So they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. They can't touch you. No, they cannot touch you. You will honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings. You get blessings. I get blessings. I am so blessed. I really am so blessed. Even in my situation, okay? Everybody's like, oh, how can you be so blessed? You're, you know, in a hotel with four animals, right? I am blessed. You know why? Because I'm not living in my car with four animals, right? I am sitting here, I, you know, with that, right? Sleeping with all my animals. <laughs> yes. And I am so blessed. I really am. Because, you know, God gave me a place. I have a shower. I have a roof over my head. I am meeting people. I am discipling. That's one of, one of the big things I'm here for is, you know, um, bringing people that who are lost to Jesus. And, you know, just by, you know, I have transportation. I have transportation. A lot of people here don't have transportation, right? And so God puts us in every place that we need to be put. And just my, you know, walk with God, like I am like, rah, right? You know, and if God tells me, hey, I need you to do this. This is why you're here now. I'm like, okay, but I don't want to do it, right? Because that's what I, I told him. No, like, what are you talking about? How do I even do that, right? God's making a way. It's making a way. It's making a way. And so um, I am grateful for that because I really had to humble myself over the situation because I'm just like, God, like, why? Why this? But then I don't see the outcome. I don't see the outcome, right? So my cup overflows with blessings. I have so many blessings. You know, I'm not in prison anymore. That's a blessing, right? Because I did almost 10 years in prison. That's a blessing. This is a blessing compared to prison, right? I have freedom. I can drive. I can go out. I can walk down the street and go to the lake. I am blessed. I am blessed. Remember your blessings because sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we're like thinking our you know, our situation isn't all that when God is like, no, look where you're at. You're free. You have total freedom. And not just freedom here. You have total freedom because you're following me. Get it? Okay. Number six. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I'll live in a house to Lord forever. So goodness and love. And that's what Jesus is. Oh, my goodness. That just reminds me of a... a a dream well it's not a dream it's like a vision a vision i had last night it was so it was awesome i can't share it i'm sorry so when i start talking about something if like the words can't come out of my mouth or um god's like don't share you know um sometimes stuff's just for me right not to share it and so a lot of times you go to like you know i used to share everything I used to tell everybody from my church, oh, this is what happened, I'm prophetic, da 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 da, right? Oh, I had a dream about you, I had a dream about you. God's like, slow your roll, child, right? Because, you know, you know I get so excited, though, because, you know, you get the Holy Spirit in you, and you get so excited. You're like, oh, I need to share everything. Like a, like a kid, like a little kid, that excitement, right? And God's like, oh, no, you need to calm that down a little bit. And that's not for you to share just yet, you know. And I ask God now, you know, and I hear the voice. I hear God's voice like, oh, do you, need, you know. So now I told me I didn't need to share that. But it was so cool. It was so, so cool. 
And um, like I said, God is good, right? God is good. Today is Sunday. I got church today. I get to see the sermon. And also my church is on YouTube too. Um, City of Refuge, Portage, Wisconsin. You can watch live. Live. They go live. And you can watch it and everything like that. It's a um, non-denominational church. And, uh, you know, we're um, pretty outgoing <laughs> is the word. You know what I mean? A lot of deliverance and healings and stuff like that. Um, that's what we're about. And so if you want to check it out, it's at 11 o'clock Central Time, um, City of Refuge, Portage, Wisconsin on YouTube. Um, they also have Facebook Live, too, if you want to do that. But it's YouTube Live, too. I think it's live on YouTube. I always do live on Facebook. And I always post the live feed on my Facebook, too. Um, so anyways, yes, you can totally uh, watch that if you want to watch it. Or if not, you don't have to, but, you know. Anyways, I want you to have a blessed day. Because I'm having a blessed day. I'm having a blessed morning. I really am. God spoke to me today. with some stuff, you know breaking out in tears but it feels so good right it feels so good like when god does that you know so i love you have a wonderful blessed day and i do love you i do have a blessed day